So, um, in teaching people to have a better life, I have to teach you guys some of the basic steps of growth. And some of the basic steps of growth is to stop basing your success on a destination and begin to base your success on on the full all-out journey okay that you can look back on and see the lineage of what you have done in the past right so you have set the table you have prepared the meal you have enjoyed the feast and allowed others to enjoy the feast of what you have learned and as you look back and you see that you're proud of what you created I think that that is the best definition of success when it comes to having the life that you want right laying it all out and then looking back and seeing what you have created and what you have done and so I'm asking you guys to do that I'm asking you guys to be patient right I'm asking you guys to be consistent and I'm asking you guys to be passionate about going for what you want truly truly passionate about going for what you want now when you are truly passionate about going for what you want that means that when you're tired you're doing it anyway when your feelings are hurt you're doing it anyway when you're upset with somebody and angry you're doing it anyway right when you are sick ill shut in okay um totally mentally off the reservation you're doing it anyway and see that is what causes success and and if you guys don't mind I would like to call that discipline right you are disciplined enough to do what it takes to achieve what you want no matter what even when you know that what you truly want to achieve is unachievable almost it is so far in the future that you need hundreds thousands in my case maybe millions of people to help you to achieve that so I need you guys to begin to shift your mindset to start thinking lineage distance right consistency okay and persistence um that's right persistence guys you have to persist even when you feel that you're not going to achieve your goal because there's going to be many moments right many moments that you guys are going to feel like it's not worth it you guys are begin going to begin to feel like man why am I doing all of this in the first place this is ridiculous this is nonsense right I'm doing all this work and I'm getting no benefit I don't feel anything from it right and that is because you guys are basing your success on 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 superficial joys that you get from little small climatic moments of somebody saying you did good or I appreciate you or thank you you can't base it on that you can't base it on thank yous you can't base it on accolades your success can't be based on any of that the success has to be based on you being strong enough okay to think all the way into the future and I'm not talking just five years I'm talking 10 years I'm talking 20 years right into the future and looking back from the age you are now so get out your calculators right depending on if you're 20 then it's your 40 if you're 30 then it's 50 if you're 50 then it's 70 right pull out your calculators right and say where would I like to be at age 70 where would you like to be at age 70 what would you like to be doing at age 70 okay and now you have to project also your emotional maturity out to the distance wow is that very very difficult I beg to differ guys you want to know why because the reason why you think it's difficult is because you're trying to imagine yourself at age 70 and what I'm trying to tell you to do is to find somebody at age 70 who is at the pinnacle of their life right who has achieved the things that you would like to achieve and begin to have a conversation with them trust me people at age 70 like to talk man People at age 70 who have been successful and are achieving the life that they want, they want to talk. Begin to talk to them, man. Begin to talk to them and learn what you need to learn in order to reverse engineer and have your life exactly where you want it, okay, 20 years from now. You know, 
If you can't find somebody 70, find somebody age 60 and reverse engineer how you like your life to be 10 years from now. And I guarantee as you're working toward that 10 year goal, you're going to come across somebody who is 20 years out, okay? And, and you will begin to get around that right circle of influence to begin to create your life to the life that you want it to be. That is what you have to do, man. You have to begin to see that, right? Um, my mentor used to call it sight beyond sight, right? Sight beyond sight only means that you are smart enough to begin to see someone who is achieving what you would like to achieve and begin to shape, mold, and move your life and your goals and, and your daily actions toward what that person says has created the success. Now, obviously guys, you have to find the right person because here's the deal. Sometimes people who have su uh, achieved success they have achieved it so early in their life that by the time they reach age 70, they are so far removed from what they achieved that it's going to take you some good questioning to pull it out of them. So now, guess what that takes from you guys? It takes some research. It takes some studying, right? It takes some skills for you to learn how to ask the right questions. Right? A lot of times when we don't get the answers that we want in life, it's because we're not asking the right questions, guys. You have to begin to ask the right questions in order to create the life that you want. The right questions will unlock the prism uh, of success to you. So begin to ask the right questions, man. Um, I got a course that I got, Top 25 Mistakes course, that I'm putting out. And the, and the entire course every single module is about you asking the right questions my mental manifesto that i put out earlier this year it's about asking the right questions it is about the questions that my mentor asked me to help me to begin to move my life forward it is the question that my mentor asked me to spark inside of me okay the true meaning of what i needed to do in my life guys and so you have to think beyond yourself number one Okay, because just thinking within yourself, you're not going to achieve it, right? Thinking within yourself, um, there is obviously in all of us an ongoing battle of inadequacy, right? I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And you're going back and forth with yourself all the time, and that battle is consistent. I don't care who you are, and I don't care what level you are in your life. The battle of inadequacy is in consistent with you, no matter what level you're at, whether you're at the bottom, uh, of the food chain, or <laughs> whether you're at the top of the food chain, you're always fighting with yourself as far as inadequacy is concerned, right? And um, if you're not, then you're fighting with the arrogance. And then once you, the arrogance gets the best of you, then you fall back into, uh, why was I so arrogant? So that, that battle continues on and on. We continue to be our worst enemy a lot of time when it comes to our success. So I want you guys to know that and understand that when it comes to achieving the life that you want. But um, when it came to the Top 25 Mistakes course that I created, it was all about asking the right questions, guys. Okay, from from having a victim mentality to, to not understanding your health and having a good relationship with your health, each level that I talked about when it came to the Top 25 Mistakes course uh, and creating the life that you want, the full life that that helps you to move forward was all about you okay asking the right questions and getting the right answers from the right people okay that is how you create a life that you want you have to number one ask the right questions and number two you have to ask the right people and number three when you get the answer you have to be consistent and go for it guys you have to go all in a lot of people are so afraid to continue to move ahead when it comes to creating the life that they want because of the fear of inadequacy of the fear of can I do it you know it's it's too difficult you know uh, what if I fail a lot of what ifs and a lot of self judging right when the truth is most of the time nobody's even paying attention to you most of the time so many